Hey everybody, Fuseman coming at you today. A couple weeks ago, I announced that I was open sourcing my code for Navi, which is a, an app that converts your smartphone into an input controller for virtual reality. So today I wanted to show you guys a new demo that I've created that uses Project Tango as your virtual reality display with Derbius Dive and uses my smartphone here, Galaxy S4, as the controller. So instead of me just talking about it, I'm just going to show you what the demo is like. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and launch the Navi Snap app on my Project Tango device. I'm going to go ahead and put that in Derby Dive while it is adjusting. Second thing we're going to do is go ahead and put the headset over my head. And then I'm going to go ahead and launch the Navi app before I put the, put the glasses on. Just the adjust the lenses, and when I'm ready, I'm gonna go ahead and tap. And so there's my virtual tablet, which is uh, mapping to my phone. So if I tilt in the y direction, I can control the vertical movement. If I tilt in the x direction, I can control the horizontal movement. And now I'm going to go and follow the instructions and tap with my fingers um, to reset. So here we are in our virtual forest. Um, so basically this app allows you to just take pictures of the environment and then view them. Kind of similar to Pokemon Snap in many senses. What I'm going to do is go ahead and take a step towards this forest and just take a picture of it. And I'm going to take, take one vertically. Oops, there we go. And now I see that there's a butterfly, so I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of that. There's a spider over here, so what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and kneel down to get a better view of it. Nice, nice close-up, and double tap to take a picture of it as well. If I keep turning to my right, there is a cat, so I'm going to take a few steps towards it not crash into anything in my room. Kneel down again, and boom. The last thing is, there's this giant gorilla. I'm going to take a few steps back away from it because I don't want it attacking me. And boom. All right. So that is all of the animals that are in the scene. So now, once I've taken however many pictures I'd like, I can go ahead and swipe up on my Android uh, device, and now I can just scroll through all of them by swiping to the right or left. So since I took this picture vertically, I now have to orient it um, in order to see in order to see the picture just the way I took it. So I'm just going to keep swiping. There's my butterfly. There's my nice close-up of the spider. Uh, rotate vertically again. There's my cat. It was a little too far away, but didn't want to crash into my bed when I was taking this picture. Um, and there's my gorilla. So I can keep scrolling. I can scroll uh, right or left. And I can also just swipe back down to get my camera again. Maybe this time uh, take a few steps back away from the spider and double tap again to get that picture. Swipe up. And if I swipe back to the right, there's my further away picture. I can go ahead and compare that to the spider that I took, uh, the previous version of the spider I took. So, yeah, so that is Navi Snap. It's a really small demo, but hopefully it highlights um, all of the things that you can do using Navi with Project Tango um, that you previously couldn't do. Another thing that I also want to point out is if there's, there's not really any drift right now, but say, um, Say, I, for whatever reason, the motion control fails and you start drifting off into space, um, or you notice some network lag and the, the device, um, the Navi device, um, isn't um, in the place you like it, what I can always go ahead and do is tap with five fingers and just reset, reset myself. So, for example, say I'm facing over here, but I actually want to face this is my new forward. I can go ahead and with five fingers, just go ahead and tap. And... And now I'm resetted to facing towards the horse again. So yeah, that is Navi Snap. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. As I mentioned before, all of the code is open source, so feel free to check it out. 
there will be links in the description below. So feel free to play around with it and try it out and maybe try to integrate it into your own VR projects. I think the power of using a smartphone as a controller really adds a layer of immersion to the whole VR experience. So also, if you have a Project Tango device and just want to try it out, there will also be a link to that in the description. So try it out, see, tell me what you think uh, in the comments. If you don't have a Project Tango device, I'm going to try and make this work with Google Cardboard. Shouldn't be that much of a change, just changing out the prefab and the reset parameters. But um, if you want to try and beat me to it, all of that code is also on GitHub. So check it out, see what you think. So that's it for me. This has been Fuseman, and I'm logging out.